Your account settings can be accessed via the payroll settings page, which is found here and also here. You can find the My Account page under the Advanced section here. The Account Details page here includes your name, your email address and password, which you can change, the time zone you want to be in, the API key, and the option to choose whether you'd like to be notified about any marketing or product updates or not. Any of the mentioned settings can be amended from this screen. Once you've made your changes, simply click the Save button. To enable two-factor authentication, you'll need to confirm your email address as well as your mobile phone and or Google Authenticator. The email address entered here will be the email address used for your account. If you need to change this, you can do so from the email address field at the top of the screen. Once you click on Confirm Email Address, you'll be sent a confirmation request via email. Clicking on the link contained in the email will act as confirmation of your email address. Once this is confirmed, a label confirming verification will show on the page here. For security reasons, we do not auto-populate mobile phone numbers. Therefore, users will always need to enter their number in this section. The number format required is the country code plus the number, so for the UK it will be plus 44 followed by the number. Once you enter your mobile phone number, click on send confirmation code here. You'll be sent a code via SMS. This code will need to be entered in the field specified and then click on confirm. Once you have verified your mobile number, you'll see a verified label just like the one in the email section above. To enable Google Authenticator, you'll need to open the Google Authenticator app on your phone. Then click the configure Google Authenticator link on the web page. You'll then need to scan the QR code that is shown and enter the six digit code before clicking enable. After you have logged in, you'll be taken back to the My Account screen where you'll see that 2FA has been enabled. It's worth noting that the two-factor authentication is mandatory and cannot be disabled for the following users. Full access users. Restricted users with access to one or more reports. Restricted users with report pack access. Restricted users where either the white label or the business have enabled the required two-factor authentication for managers and or employees setting. And employees where either the white label or business have enabled the required two-factor authentication for managers and or employees setting. If you're one of these users, you will need to set up your 2FA before you can access any business. You can see which business and employees you have direct access to in the related business page here. The following two pages are the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. And that's the My Account page. We hope you found this video useful.